Join us while we watch Carl and Ethan Peverall install Lucky, a new sculpture. Watch them as they put the pieces together and then hear his narrative as we interview him as the night falls. They're taking down the gantry now. I think this, this arch is a little bit of a departure from the, the other two that we've made, which um, used the idea of, of stringing stones on a, on a bar, somewhat like uh, stringing pearls on a necklace or something like that. But uh, we didn't want to keep repeating ourselves, and we wanted to try a little something different, a little more challenging. And we wanted to just continue with the idea of larger stones that had some relationship with each other, that had some kind of a movement, a progression of movement. And uh, this, is, this is what we came up with. I uh, have a name for it at this point. I don't know if that is going to endure or not, but uh, I call it Lucky. Lucky! Yeah, lucky. It looks um, like a horseshoe. And <laughs> I, well, that's it. That's an interesting uh, uh, <laughs> Doesn't it? similarity. But uh, yeah, in this piece, probably like no other one, um, as we needed the next stone, we would have to go search for it. And, and we would bring maybe several options uh, back from the stone yard or our search. And we would we would choose one and we would put it up next to the stone that we just set and it was almost like we, we, we almost had, didn't have to do any cutting and any fitting it just like that was the stone that was meant to be there and then the next one would be the same way I think every single one of them was somewhat like that so uh, we felt like we were on a on a string of of lucky um, Pearls. events and uh, <laughs> so perhaps uh, maybe, maybe this this will impart some of that luck to, to others that walk through it hope so this is really a beautiful piece Carl and I've seen so many of your works in the past year and uh, every one of them is as unique as a fingerprint but I wondered if you could tell me about how much you know does it weigh and what does it take to build what you're standing on that kind of thing Ethan, why don't you talk about a little bit about that well, what we're standing on weighs about 1,500 pounds, and what we do is uh, assemble a form out of wood, and then we cast concrete inside that wood form, and this is the biggest concrete slab we've ever poured. Mm. It's uh, 76 inches across and 27 inches wide, mm. and it weighs 1,500 pounds, and uh, the rest of the sculpture weighs about another 1,500 pounds, so the total weight of the entire piece is about 3,000 pounds, a ton and a half. Gosh. And, um, well, what it takes is a little magic. Well, thank you. I feel very lucky to have it here. And thank you so much for being at Dovecote and getting ready for our grand opening of your sculpture exhibit at the end of June. So this is a great way to start off the season. Thank you so much, both you and Carl. Thank you, Mary Palmer. Thank you. Join us at Dovecote in beautiful Cashiers, North Carolina, near Highlands in the plateau of Western North Carolina, as we introduce many of Carl's sculptures at our opening in 2015.